Hi, uh, welcome back to Techtricks Info. Today we'll be learning about how to calculate the stoichiometric air fuel ratio of a fuel. So, the stoichiometric air fuel ratio, you might be knowing it. Uh, for normal IC engines which use gasoline, this 14.7 is to 1, that is 14.7 kg of air is required to burn 1 kg of the fuel. So, how to calculate the stoichiometric air fuel ratio will be shown over here. So it's exactly the amount of air required to burn the supplied amount of fuel completely. So there is no engine which can do that which works on a stoichiometric air fuel ratio because uh, the combustion is a short living process and that's why the complete fuel cannot be uh, burned during that process. But let's see how exactly the stoichiometric air fuel ratio can be calculated if you know the chemical formula uh, like this. So here as I have shown. Uh, the oxidation reaction of methane is shown over here so to calculate the stoichiometric air fuel ratio uh, for the combustion of methane. So methane is CH4, oxygen over here and methane reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O. Right? Okay. Now let's calculate the molecular weight of methane. To uh, calculate the molecular weight, we need to know the atomic weight of the reactants. So for carbon, the atomic weight is 12.01 and for oxygen, the atomic weight is 16 and for hydrogen, the atomic weight is 1.008. So for calculating the molecular weight of methane, that is CH4, uh, that is carbon, is 12.01. Uh, not 1 that is 12.01 into H4 because 4 into hydrogen is 1.008 so we get a value as 16.042 this is the molecular weight of methane now let's calculate the molecular weight of oxygen so oxygen is O2 and the atomic weight is 16 that is 16 into 2 gives 32 is the molecular weight of oxygen now let's need to, we need to calculate the oxygen's fuel mass ratio that means the amount of oxygen required to burn that particular amount of fuel that means the amount of oxygen required to burn 1 kg of fuel so here we have the fuel as methane so the amount of oxygen amount of kg of oxygen required to burn 1 kg of fuel so here let's calculate the oxygen's fuel mass ratio we have two molecules of oxygen so here it is 2 into 32 divided by 16.042 so here we will get the value as 3.99 kg so 3.99 kg of oxygen is required to burn 1 kg of methane so the amount of oxygen required to burn 1 kg of fuel or the methane is 3. 99 kg in this particular case as you all know in air we have 23.2 percentage of oxygen that is 23.2 is the mass percentage of air actually contains oxygen so uh, we need to calculate the amount of air exactly required to burn 1 kg of methane so uh, we take it as uh, here we have 3.99 so uh, it is 3.99 into 100 divided by uh, the value uh, 23.2 which gives us 17.2 kg of air. So we need 17.2 kg of air to burn 1 kg of methane. So we get the stoichiometric air fuel ratio of methane equals 17.2 is to 1 so 17.2 kg of air and 1 kg of methane is required to create a complete combustion so that is the stoichiometric air fuel ratio for methane okay and if you take oxygen it is 3.99 kg of oxygen is exactly required to burn 1 kg of methane okay so I believe uh, you understand how to calculate the stoichiometric 
air fuel ratio for methane over here so exactly the same way if you know the chemical reaction we can calculate the stoichiometric air fuel ratio for any uh, fuel uh, normally uh, the fuel is like uh, if you take natural gas the stoichiometric air fuel ratio is 17.1 is to 1 for propane it is 15.5 is to 1 from methanol it is 6.8 is to 1 for diesel it is 14.6 is to 1 for gasoline as I have told earlier, it is 14.7 is to 1. For ethanol, uh, it is 9 is to 1. And for hydrogen, it is 34 is to 1. So the normal air fuel ratio is been uh, told for gasoline is 14.7 is to 1. So that says that for burning 1 kg of gasoline, we need 14.7 kg of air exactly so i believe you like this video or you understand the calculation how to get a stoichiometric air fuel ratio if you like it please click the like button or do drop a comment you can also subscribe to us by clicking the subscribe button on top of this video have a great learning best of luck